Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Dual Destinies. Today we're in the defendant lobby and Athena's looking kinda sweaty. He busted out of his shackles. Yeah. What was that all about? Guess uh, they don't make shackles like they used to. I mean that's probably true. Yeah, I mean they still use okay. Hmm. Like shackles like that? I don't know if they use them regularly. Outside of like movies and stuff like that. I know they have things that are like those, but they're not like, they're not big black chains like with studs in them, right? <laughs> they're like handcuffs that are longer than just normal handcuffs. Or the handcuffs that they wrap around your waist or something like that. Uh, better be careful. Oh, better be careful, Paul. You really brought out the samurai in him. Especially after you proved there was a Tema Tower impersonator at the manor. What's with that guy in the whole samurai act, anyways? Such fine swordsmanship. That is no mere act. Mr. Justice, it is high time I challenge this, this, this jailhouse prosecutor to a duel! No, wait. Let's save the dueling until we, after we prove your innocence. Hmm, I suppose that could wait till later. Huh, does anyone remember we're conducting a trial here? No. Athena, uh, I'm gonna go wash up. Remember what Blackwell said, Apollo? Don't be late. Uh, well, that was a quick wash up. Right, it was a three minute recess. Now then, I believe our next witness is Ms. Jinxy Tama, made at QB Mansion, a uh, manor. I believe we can proceed now, if the witness is ready, that is. <laughs> what? What? No, 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 Oh, it's the Japanese yokai. Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan. Apparently, that's a manga series. But, yeah. Oh, because it's bald and he has a misshapen head? That's rude. <laughs> that's rude, Jinxie. Wow, that's one well polished tray. Actually, you said other things. Leader of the 100, 100 Demons, he really does exist. Oh, wait. That's not Jinxie at all, is it? That's Athena. Uh, na 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 oh god. Nurari Hion, a leader of the uh, 100, 100 demons, he really does exist. Good job fixing that, Kronos. Thank you. Ah, that's my Paula's tray. Mm, the witness will show her face while in court, or her testimony will be immiscible. Ugh. What is it, my child? Be, be gone, uh, Naru Rari, whatever, leader of the hundred, one hundred demons. Ho 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 ho, you think I'm a yokai? Well, I was once known as a dujissal monster of sorts. The beast of the bar, the demon of the due process, if you will. Eek, my charm has no effects. The demon of due process, not sure I can see that one. Now, you little scrimp. Yeah, 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 yeah. I trust you know why you're here. B -b bags. Bags. Oh, that Trixie Tuna uh, Tunuki. Try the noodle stand and go enjoy a big bowl of Tunuki tail soup while you're at it. Is that a joke? Did you chop him up the little bits? Did you put him through a grinder? Everyone's a comedian. I, what's the fucking joke? Try the noodle stand and enjoy a big bowl of tanuki tail soup or noodles, whatever. What does that mean? What is the joke? <laughs> what is the fucking joke? No, I'm, I meant your bags. The ones under your eyes. You must have trouble sleeping here. This charm will keep a zoo, a zukai ray. 
away, sure. Azukaire, the yokai that washes Azuki beans? I had a long day today, all right? I wasn't sure if I was gonna record, had, a, you know, doctor's appointments, all that stuff, came home, sat down. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and record, why not, right? I, got, I, I, want, I, I want to see where this is going. And the game is just confusing the fuck out of me. <laughs> like, what, what do you mean? Is that a thing? A yokai that washes Azuki beans? Why? The only thing needing washing will be your father's neck when I take his head clean off. Azuki Kairi Ray often keeps people up at night with the noise of him makes the noise he makes washing beans. Why? Why is that a thing? <laughs> what drugs were they on when they came up with that folklore? But if you stick this charm on your forehead, you you won't hear him anymore. I mean, I'd assume it would work better if you stick it in your ears. It, is that so? Well, thank you. They think Prosecutor Black Blackquill got more than he bargained for. <laughs> They're bad enough alone, but together, those two are just plain creepy. Your testimony, if you please, Ms. Tema. Specifically, whether or not you saw Tema Taro when you discovered the crime scene. Why is there a demon that washes beans? Uh, what Jinx he saw? Did I see Tema Taro in the fox chamber? Well, when I opened the door, shiver, I saw, I saw, yeah, I, now I remember. Yokai! Yokai! Right in the room! So there was a yokai at the scene of the crime? Ugh, uh-huh. Lots and lots of them. Wait, more than one yokai? Did Tematower have to be among them? I don't know, I just don't know. All I know is the room is swarming with yokai. Kasha, Narakabi, Seto, Taisho, Eek. I don't know what the Eek one, I don't know what any of those are. I was gonna say, I don't know, I was gonna make a joke how I don't know what, what yokai is named Eek. But no, I don't know fucking any of them. Except Kasha. I, I like her music. They were all Kronos. I'm just look. I'm trying. They were all there. Well, this is an unexpected turn of event. We've gone from no yokai to a flood of them. This is ludicrous. You would have this court listen to this delusional scamp's testimony. You're the one that called her. Hi. Your Honor, I believe your memory is simply clouded by fear, but a quick therapy session should re ease your mind with the court's mission, of course. <laughs> Let's all have a group therapy session. What a fabulous idea. Please proceed, Miss Sykes. Is this a fabulous idea? <laughs> uh, okay, with all these people around? I know what they're saying. They're gonna do the, the noise thing, right? Right? Yeah. But at the same time, the way that she put it, I'm like, oh, she's gonna take out like a notebook. She's like, all right, now tell me, what do you feel about your childhood? She's like, I'm still a child. Okay, but like, go further back. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing, Athena? No, she's obviously not herself. The trauma of discovering the crime scene and fear of testifying have her dazed and confused. I bring the ball of confusion. But my analytical psychology based approach should be able to help. Any objections, Prosecutor Blackwell? Shall we let Ms. Sykes proceed? Hmm. It makes no difference to me and little money. Do as you will, but I will. I doubt we shall get any viable t testimony. She'd be better served by bearing witness to the sword skill I forged in a distant land. Huh. I'll show you. Fucking little thing explodes around her neck and shoots him. There were a lot of little. Oh shit. She is. <laughs> She's not doing well, apparently. Did I see Tamataro in the fox chamber? 
Well, when I open the door, shiver me timbers. Yes, now I remember. I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to think this lady might need some meds. Found something? Oh, you don't say. You found a blue demon, SpongeBob's distant cousin, a cat that is almost on fire, uh, some Beauty and the Beast, you know, fucking teacups, and a tanuki. Oh, was the thief guy there? Uh, Athena, what exactly are we looking at here? Oh, <laughs> this this is one of Widget's functions. Right here, you can see images and emotions extracted from the witness's voice. Oh, you mean that little thing can do all that? Pretty cool, right? Huh, here I thought it was just some kid's toy. Unfortunately, all I'm getting is an overflow error right now. See how sad it is brightly lit up there, the right, uh, the bottom left? No. I don't see it at all. What could you be possibly referring to? The other uncontrollable amount of distress, which is making her, uh, making her other, which is masking her other emotions, not making her other emotions. That would be different. Seems the sheer terror she's experienced has made her confused mess. Yeah, no. I don't believe you. <laughs> what about this? Is a confused mess. So all those yokai she thinks she saw are a product of rampant emotions. Uh, that's right. Her fears are instilled in her hallucinations, false memories. <laughs> Look, hallucinations suck, right? I don't have them myself, thankfully. Uh, unfortunately, ever since my mom's brain aneurysm, she occasionally gets them, audio and visual. And man, do apparently they are extremely real because, uh, like, in terms of like visuals. Because sometimes it's just fucking off the wall. And uh, honestly, something like that isn't that far off, I guess you can say. Like, some examples, I got a call at 3 in the morning once. Hey, can you come upstairs? There's a possum and its babies hanging from my uh, curtain. I'm like, okay, that doesn't sound right. I'll be up there in a second. Uh, other ones, a little girl popping out of her bed. Uh... The scary ones. There were some scary ones. Thankfully, the scary ones were mostly right when she got out of the hospital and not to this day. Though she does still kind of randomly see people sometimes. On top of that, it's also because she's like blind, or mostly blind in one eye from the brain aneurysm sending blood clots. But, uh, yeah, like she'll see like shadow people or just other random people throughout. Yeah, so one of the. Okay. So, one of the bigger ones that. I don't even know if these quantify or qualify as uh, not illusions, but hallucinations. But like, an example would be like she sees someone and then later on that day she'll see that same person just randomly in like around the room. Uh, went to the doctors, not today thankfully, but like I think it was like a year ago. We were going to a doctor's office just for a checkup. Obviously, it's normal procedure, and then we go into the waiting room, uh, not the waiting room, the, the checkup room, and she's just sitting there, and she's just, like, kind of looking at me, and, you know, not looking, but she's, like, looking at uh, the, the heater, and then she looks at me, and then back to the heater, and I'm like, what's up? It's like, and then and she didn't say anything, she just keeps looking back and forth, I'm like, eh, what are you seeing? And she's like, is there not a guy there? I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then as we were leaving, it eventually cleared up, and she's like, oh, yeah, there is no one there. Well, no, that's weird. Uh, and then we, like, leave the room, and she's like, man, you didn't, you really didn't see that old guy just sitting there. I'm like, no. No, I didn't. That sucks. But no, I didn't. Anyways, fucking sucks. I hope no one ever actually has to deal with it. It is, uh, it's, it's awful. <laughs> just fucking awful. Uh, see, uh, she's seeing normal everyday objects as monsters in her mind. <laughs> what? Well, okay, on the way home today, she's like, there was these, I guess they're like seeds from a tree or something, because there was like these little brown little things on my window just sitting there, and she, she was just like, man, I keep thinking these are heads crossing the street. I'm like, what? 
She's like, yeah, these things here, they're not heads. I'm like, no, no, they're not heads. Yeah, every once in a while, it looks like they're just heads crossing the street. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> it's a form of schizophrenic. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not schizophrenic. Though we do have that in our family, it, but it's not that. The only schizophrenic hallucination brought on by emotional trauma. And the trauma is Jinx's case's fear. Is she schizophrenic? I, I mean, I don't think we can just diagnose that in the middle of a courtroom, but is she schizophrenic? You say a form of. I'm not sure. I don't think you can have schizophrenic hallucinations without being schizophrenic. Uh, so she was and still is seeing ordinary objects as yokai. We'll have to find the root cause of her extreme fears before I can treat it. Now, let's see. I mean, if I was seeing that shit on the regular basis, I'd be horrified too. Paul, can you point out the point out the yokai and the wheel of fire? Uh, she seems particularly terrified of that one. Start by pressing probe. And next, uh, next point to what's causing Jinx out of control emotion. And hit the Y button. Okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, LB. Cat monster on a wheel of fire. Cup monster. Cup monster. Cup boy. This is a tanuki. It's not a raccoon. Go. It's a, a tanuki is like a form or type of raccoon, right? But that is clearly a tanuki. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Hallucination. You're mine. Jinxie, what's the name uh, for the yokai on the wheel of fire? Th that's Akasha, a yokai that steals the body of the recently deceased. I bet it came to steal the Aldermans. That's almost creepy how well that fits the actual situation. Exactly! It's a form of hallucination where the patient can't see things for what they are. There must be something at the scene of the crime that she's mistaken for Akasha. Apollo! You need to point out what she thought was the yokai in the wheel of fire! Hmm. Alright. I think I know the answer now. Jaycee! This wasn't a cache you saw. That wasn't a cache you saw. Oh, the sh chandelier? Okay. This? Take that! The light fixture? Uh, yeah, the light fixture. Uh, this one right here. It has a flame design and it's up here on the ceiling. There was never a yokai on a wheel of fire. And ca the cache you saw was just a light fixture. Ugh! Tanuki is totally the thief. Oh, that's one memory back to normal. Nice job! Now that you get the hang of it, it should be a sense to the point out the rest. I guess. Jinxie! What about this white wall-like monster? Is it an evil wall? No, it's... That's, uh... Kurikabi. Uh... Nurikabi. Whatever. It's a wall monster that blocks your way that leads you astray. Does it slowly inch towards you and cast haste on itself? That's no yokai, Jinxie. It's a folding screen. Ah! And this raccoon dog isn't a tanuki monster. It's just a statue of one. Ah! And look! These are just coffee cups. And this right here? It's nothing more than a fox statue. Ah! I don't know what I was thinking. You broke her tray! No, it's better. Never mind. You did it, Apollo! Her extreme fear is under control, and I'm extremely happy, clearly, by the green screen, I think. It was all just my eyes playing tricks on me. They weren't any yokai, after all. See? A clear-cut statement. That's the power of my psycholo uh, psychology and your intuition, Apollo. And just like we thought, there was never really any yokai in the fox chamber. Thus, our argument is invalid. Right, that there was never any real any yokai there. So the defense is asserting the exact opposite of their original assertion. Wait, uh, Jinxie? <laughs> what about Tamataro? There wasn't anyone dressed up as Tamataro, or any other yokai either. I remember it clearly now. The rain is gone. 
You've gotta be joking, I guess. I don't know. Order, order in the court. I think we just dug our own grave. Allow me to push you in it. It's the least I could do. Why do you keep taking feathers from your bird and putting them in your mouth? Apollo, can I interrupt your freak out for just a minute? I'm still picking up the noise. It's from the you know the judge seat and the prosecutor seat and from the crowd, but also it's an unexpected emotion. Does that mean Jinxie hasn't remembered everything yet? <laughs> exactly, we should be able to get something else out of her. I'll enter the new information we have and run an update. <laughs> Honestly, this character portrait just seems like. A dang and rompa portrait, really. Uh, what's the yellow one again? Is that shock? So it's happy, mad, sad, frightened, distressed, shock. Not aroused. That's green as well, right? Or is it surprisingly aroused? I was so scared when I entered the room. My legs gave out and I fell on the floor. I landed in a pool of blood. There in the fox chamber, I saw a shiver. The alderman dead on the table and Papa collapsed in a chair. Nobody else was there, and that includes Ted Mataru. Oh, there was a statue of a Tanuki. Oh, okay. Wait, was it? What am I supposed to do? Try to find the emotion that contradicts your statement. Oh, okay, so I just select the yellow one? Sudden changes in emotion. It... Oh, okay, so the pulsing. Okay, so we're looking for the pulsing. Okay, contradictory emotion and changes in intensity. Give it a shot. So, mostly horrified, right? With a little bit of surprise. Very surprised and scared. Mostly just scared, but not horrified. Now scared and surprised slash horrified. Is there like a... Is there like a thing I can see? <laughs> that tells me... What the... No? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but she wasn't scared there, so pinpoint here. It's lesser here. Got it. Oh, okay. Music stops, um, yeah. The amount of fear you felt is rather low despite your legs having given out from fright. Oh, that was the contradiction. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. Could something have lessened your fear? Actually, I did experience a sudden burst of courage at that moment. You did? Where did it come from? Um, uh, let me think. It was Mama. I suddenly felt as if she was there with me. Okay, I'll just sudden burst of courage. And now let's see. Ah, look! <laughs> I am courageous. I will punch people. Paul, the noise is all gone! Jesus seemed to remember everything now! That was... I honestly... Fucking don't understand that, but alright. With just that? Okay, a sudden burst of courage. Now, where could that have come from? Jixie, was there something that gave you a sudden burst of courage? Mama. Oh, yeah, there was, but... Uh, I... I realized I had done something naughty when I thought about it later. What? Any of what could have given Jixie that courage? Well, there's one piece of evidence that comes to mind. 
I wonder if she saw something like it at, in, in a, at like it at the scene of the crime. Oh, is the mask? Um, wasn't this right? Oh. But none of those are at the scene of the crime, right? I mean, this doesn't really help me. I don't see the whole room. I... Hmm. I... I'll try it first. Jaycee, you didn't happen to see a nine teals flower at the sea. Oh, okay. Did you? Ugh! The demon lawyer strikes again. I can't hide anything from you. No, I actually literally can't. Fucking Athena can go into your emotional mind space and just see everything. I found a small case of, uh, of a picture of a nine-tail, uh, oh, like a corn, okay, yeah, uh, flower on it. I, I, I liked it so much I kept it. You stole from the crime scene? You what? You can't remove evidence from a crime scene or just steal stuff? What are you, my assistant? That's right, young lady. Removing evidence is a big no-no. Now, <laughs> the witness will produce said evidence as this isn't. So, so, sorry, uh, sorry. Hmm, it does seem to be some sort of case. Oh, I thought it was like a casing for like a coin. I don't know, okay. Oh, look, something slid out. It appears to be a key. Might I have a look, your baldness? Meh. Hmm. Ah. This is none other than the master key to QB Manor. Are you certain of this, Prosecutor Blackwell? It matches the serial number of the, key of the key that went missing after the murder. A master key? That went missing? Why don't I like the sound of that? Our little scamp here has stumbled upon an article of unimaginable consequence. That's a little melodramatic, don't you think? Hmm. Yes, I do, actually. Heed these words, for I shall say them but once. The sole key to the fox shimmer has been in this little scamp's constant possession. Ergo, she was the sole person who could use it before, during, before, during, and after the murder, which leaves the master key as the only other key that could have opened the chamber. But this master key was found in the room that had been locked by the girl. And your point is... Until Jinxie Tema opened the foxy with her key, our uh, fox chamber with her key, the room had been locked tight from the outside world. And there was none, no one in the, else in there save the victim and his killer. I should sure you have figured it out for yourself by now. A killer other than Master Tema himself would be utterly inconceivable! No! But there's a vent, right? Maybe the imposter vented. Objection! Because he's a sussy baka. How could this happen to me? Ugh. The fence assistant will refrain from growling in her, fr her frustration. Athena, are you alright? I know May Tem is innocent, but there's nothing we can do. This sucks. Sykes, don't know. Allow me to put you out of your misery. I decline your offer. Abandon your client and your misplaced faith in him. Let the relief of a clear head and a clean conscience come rushing in. That will make the inevitable guilty verdict a guilty verdict be far easier to accept. Great, now he's playing Simon Says with us. Well, he's not going to fool us with his stupid mind games. Athena, don't fall for his tricks. Uh, now I'm the one who's dazed and confused. I can't even think straight. Hey, are you all right? She fell into his trap. Now I suggest you make a mad dash for the courtroom, from the courtroom, and into the wild blue yonder. Only by running shall your mind be cleared, and your cautious cleansed. I do hear running, running is good for, like, a lot of things. Working out in general is actually pretty good, even for your mental health. Stay with us, Athena. Don't... What did she say? Alright, I'll be back in ten. <laughs> Don't let yourself be twisted by that samurai. Apollo? Mr. Justice? I heard the words objection, yet what is it you eject? Huh. Oh, right. Uh, fuck that guy. 
The objection was more of a re like, uh, reflex than anything else. Though I was hoping something would come to me while I was trying to stop Athena. The court is waiting, Mr. Justice. Though, as it stands now, I'll be forced to declare your client guilty and your legal skills suspect if, if this is it. That's bullshit. That's bullshit! Now, do you have anything that, that could overturn the prosecution case? Yeah! Just pulls out a gun. Like, okay, wait a minute. Uh, well, actually, I do. I'm Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. Apollo, you have any more than your cords of steel, don't you? Not really, but we'll be fine. But, 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 but. I've got absolutely nothing, but that never stopped me before. I have to explain how the real critter could have escaped that locked room. Because it's all over if I don't. Apollo! This calls for a new approach! I'm trying to think outside the box. Or in this case, inside the box. And what a doozy that locked room is. Well, Mr. Justice, do you have anything that could counter the prosecutor's argument? Yeah, it's gotta be the vent, right? The real killer must have escaped from the locked room one way or another. Vague conjecture shall only earn you a taste of my blade. Justice, don't know. Uh, time to do or die, literally. The vents will now explain how it would be possible for you to escape the locked room. He vented! Why can't I think of the name? It's not Fall Guys. Oh my god, I, I, you know, I was actually about to make a joke about how that game stole the idea from this game. Why can I not? It's not Fall Guys. That is a totally different game. Imposter Suspects. What? I mean, I'm getting a bunch of images. Among Us! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why couldn't I not? My goddamn brain. Fuck you, brain. God damn it. We just need to. I mean, it's not like I've played the game, but I, I've, I, it's fucking huge, and I know it's been all over YouTube and the internet, but still. I, I don't know how I could not think of that name. My God. We just, we just need to think of this whole escaping a locked room thing over from the beginning. So, let's see. If the killer had escaped, how could they have done so? The choices are pretty limited. The room has a window, but... It doesn't open wide enough for anyone to get through, and there's, no, there's a sheer cliff outside. As for the air vent... It's up too high. That's bullshit. Not for a flying demon. There's nothing you can stand on the reach. Needless to say, what about that table? The forbidden chamber wouldn't open no matter what, so is it not the vent? So that's out. Yeah, that's why we gotta keep it we gotta keep the solution simple. Uh like they said, simple is best. Uh we need to rule out all the absolutely impossible escape routes. Then what it's ever left and just might lead us to how the Fox Chamber was compromised. Uh, okay, Your Honor, the defense pro pro proposes that the killer escape through here. I was so sure it was going to be the fucking vent, like the air duct, but you just said it wasn't. One second. Uh, I don't know. Is it just the door? Maybe, like... Wait, but she already saw him running to the foyer. 
So of course he wouldn't be there, but he would have left through the door. Uh. Oh, sorry. I thought I was on the this screen. I mean, it's either. <sighs> so, wait, 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 wait. When she said earlier, did she not say that he came running from the side to meet her here? Like, they didn't come downstairs, it came from the side. Like, uh, I mean, I can't show you because I don't have a cursor, but like. She was like the foyer was here. She was standing right there, and she said he came run like that downstairs, right? So it'd have to be the air duct. I, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and present the air duct then. Take that. No, oh, no, nope. okay. That was not it. <clears throat> We'll try the door then. We'll try the door next. Is it the fox? Like the forbidden chamber? But you just said it was locked. Door. The hallway door. Oh, okay. Well, yes, I suppose that would be the only way out. Hmm. It would appear you have already forgotten. The only available key until Jinxie Tema came on scene was within that locked door. How would one exit the fox chamber and then lock it without a key, hmm? I should have seen that coming. Okay, never mind. Remember, Apollo, keep it simple. Keep it safe. Simple, right. Okay, so we don't get penalized for that? I could understand if the killer exit had, had exit room with the key, but... <laughs> Prosecution has some fine Japanese steals waiting unless you explain yourself. I bet he does! Because that's a thing, apparently! The reason the Fox Chamber Hallway door was locked... Oh, okay, oh, no, no, no. So, wait. Perf locked it from the outside. It locked on its own. Locked on its own? Or he has the key. No, he doesn't have the key because there was the. Yeah. So it locked on its own, right? They, they were saying that they found a key in there, but they were missing the master key. So it has to lock on its own. Maybe they were closed accidentally on its own. Ah! The killer would never be identified if we absolute key moments to mere chance. Perhaps that spear just happened to fly off the wall and impale the alderman. Really? And perhaps the sedative just happened to give, uh, make its way into his coffee. Mere chance could explain any number of these things. Right, next idea then. Alright, we'll try that he just locked it himself. Locked it from the inside? Locked it from the inside. Because how can you lock it without a key? May Tema locked it himself after the killer fled the scene. No, that's not what I wanted. Just in case the killer decided to return. That explains why I misread the prompt. That explains why the room was locked. Yes, I see. You are a fucking idiot. Uh, who never May Tema mentioned this himself? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe it slipped his mind because of the blow to his head. All right, I guess I should have just done what I was originally gonna say, but sure. May's fingerprints were not on the doorknob. The only fingerprints found belonged to all the men. There we go, the man did not do much, I guess. Oops, oh, well hey. Apparently this game's gonna be pretty hard for me compared to the last one. Perp locked it from the outside. Tenma locked it himself. I was thinking about Tenma Taru. What if the room was locked from the outside? Mm, the other, in other words, the killer took the key through the hallway. Ah! 
considered this, the master key was found inside the tightly locked fox chamber. Any assertion that the key was removed from the room is a blatant contradiction of fact. Exiting the room before locking the door would require taking the key outside, but the key was found inside the room, which does seem like a contradiction. If only we could explain both. Oh, the okay, the air vent? So it's gonna be the air vent, Cronus? Yes! They're gonna use the air vent! Like how the key could be inside the room and be used to lock the door from the outside. Let's see if defense can reopen, uh, respond before Black Quill draws his sword. Hyah! How could the master key at the crime scene dis uh, uh, be at the crime scene despite the room being locked? Uh, it slipped in the door, threw it in from the outside, changed the lock, threw it in from the outside! What if someone threw it into the room from the outside? You know, something like that. Go out in the hallway, lock the door, uh, do hallway, go out the hallway door, lock the room, and then toss the key back in through the window. Maybe that would explain them how the master key could be inside the locked room. And where would they throw it from? There is a cliff outside the fox chamber window. Throwing the key in from there is an, an impossibility. Oh! Right. Ah. I wonder if the key could have been tossed in from somewhere other than the window. Somewhere other than the window. The vent! Where could the where could the uh, key have been tossed in through? The vent. Use the vent. The air vent. Yeah, the window may be out of question, but the air vent's not. Oh, that's right. The fox chamber is the air duct. Leads into the hallway. That's right. The real killer entered the air duct from the uh, from the vent outside the fox chamber. And then drop the key into the room through the vent inside the, f the chamber. Ah! Fuck! That's preposterous. Next please how the key uh, got in there after it was used to lock the door perfectly. Mr. Justice, hmm. Uh, I'm afraid I'm a bit confused. <laughs> yeah, we know. You always are. Don't worry, I'll explain it so even your honor can understand. You know, a fucking toddler. Right, the real killer disguised as Temataro murdered the alderman in the fox chamber. Then, they fled the room through the hallway door and locked it. Next, they entered the air duct uh, from the vent outside the hallway. Finally, the killer tossed the key into the room through the air vent in the ceiling there. Good thing it's very supported and, and can like, hold a fucking grown adult's weight. <laughs> All that was left to do was go back out through the duct and flee the manor. Well, your honor, could that be any clearer? Amazing. Even I could follow that. But watch your tone. I will bash your head in with this gavel. The death seems really pleased. That explains everything. The real killer was someone dressed up as Temataru. And there was someone else in the uh, someone else other than the mayor and alderman in that room. Dang! It looks like the world lawyer has beaten the jailbird prosecutor. Woo wee! The massive forehead of his so much more attractive now! What? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Order! Order I say! Now that I've proved the possibility of third party, I don't see how our client could be guilty. Silence. A valiant effort, Justice Dono, but your final thrust, Mistress Mark. Huh? Both that little scamp and the trickery, uh, Trixie Tanuki, saw the yokai after it left the room. But then what? Did that irksome yokai simply go through the foyer and waltz right out the front door? Yes! That's exactly what happened! The killer fled from the- Ouch! But that is impossible, without being spotted by the foyer security camera, that is. Yeah, no, that's what I was talking about. That's why I wanted to steal it earlier. The electric eye here would have captured any pesky little yokai trying to escape. However, there is no sign of Tower anywhere in the security footage. What?! Say for the, for the foyer entrance, there is no other way to flee the manor, is there? I don't feel so good. Wait! I believe there is someone... Uh, there is one other way to escape by, besides the foyer entrance. There's a large window in the foyer. It's possible to escape through there without being seen by the security camera. Hey, you're right! Silence. Hmm. Must I point out every crucial detail to the defense? Yeah, probably. It seems to lack of lacks not only brains, but investigative prowess to boot. 
That is the cliffside of the manor. The only killer escaping that way would be a dead one. N noon! Wait, did you just scream noon? Yeah, you did. So the killer didn't escape the outside the foyer window. What the heck was that? What the heck, right? Oh yeah. Ha! I suppose your next proposal is the killer sprouted wings and flew off into the sunset. Yes! Did you read the newspaper, Blackwell? That mean the killer really was a yokai. Uh, there's only we had some sort of evidence that could point to the flying killer. Who's who's saying we don't? As completely far-fetched as it might be. What? You saying you can prove the killer can fly? Can you not shout that out to the fucking general populace here? Whoa, I thought I was the one with the scores of steel. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Next time? Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all then, apparently. Bye.